What's happening geeks? Welcome to another Cosplay Chris Collectible Review. That was my Power Ranger impersonation. I don't know why I did that. Caffeine's a hell of a drug. So like I said, welcome to another Cosplay Chris Collectible Review. Now this week, I'm going to be reviewing the 1-6 scale Hot Toys Batman Arkham City figure. Now I am a huge Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Arkham Asylum, even Arkham Origins nut. I'm halfway through Arkham Knight at the moment. I will have that review up shortly once I finish the game. I know I'm very behind, but I had this thing called a holiday and that came first. So like I said, I'm a huge Arkham fan. I love the design of all the bat suits in the Arkham game franchise, but most notably Arkham City. So that's why I had to snag this bag boy. So with that, does it hold up to its expectations? Let's check it out. Okay, let's get started with the box. The theme of the box stays very true to the game cover itself. You've got Batman there creeping around the Arkham City logo and the 1-6 scale collectible riding up top. And then we've got the credits on the side, so who made the figure. And also, I love the little detective mode uh, tip of the hat there to uh, us gaming fans. Now, let's get started with the accessory. You've got the interchangeable faceplate and all the interchangeable hands to coincide with all the accessories that come with it, which have been sculpted really, really well. And we've got the grapnel line launcher there, as seen in the game. We also have the grapnel gun and the interchangeable backlaw, I think it is but you do get another accessory there to uh, swap out. You've got the infamous Batarang and the, the glue gun. So those are the accessories, and here's the figure itself. Now overall guys, how does the figure hold up? It's amazing visually. The movement unfortunately is shocking, and it's because of this rubber suit. Hot Toys haven't exactly perfected the whole rubber suit issue yet, as well as Enter Bay. It's something that I think they'll, um, it'll take them a couple of more figurine releases to finally perfect. But overall, visually, it's a stunning figure. I'll see there the crease in his elbow. That is what I'm talking about. That is what restricts most of the movement because the rubber just wants to spring back into a straight shape. But overall, it's a beautiful figure, guys. It screams Arkham City. It, it stays true to the theme of it. I'll, I managed to get him in this nice dynamic pose. The cape itself is actually amazing quality compared to the Keaton Batman. So we've got the utility belt there. And there's nice detailing on the body armor. It looks like it's uh, Kevlar. It's bulletproof and it's going to withstand bullets, knives, etc. We've got an epic back crutch shot. Guys, like I said, this is an amazing figure, minus the restricted movement. He's good for museum poses. I was able to get him in that dynamic pose that you see here just. It took a lot of uh, fidgeting. But overall, guys, I'm very happy with this figure. He's an awesome addition to my collection. And with that, I'm going to give the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Arkham City Batman figure four geeks out of five. So thanks very much for watching guys. Like I said, the figure is limited with its posability, but other than that, it is a terrific looking figure. If you want a museum pose, that's gonna be your best bet. As always, thanks very much for your continuing support. And until next time, geeks, always remember, cosplayers do it best.